Hi, in this video we will talk about the most frequently asked questions by CAT aspirants. There are a lot of questions that keep troubling CAT aspirants, especially for the first timers. A question like can a non-math background student uh, crack CAT in the first attempt or can score good in the first attempt. So let us try to answer, we cannot have a black and white answer to any question or any such query. So first of all, let us try to understand the math pattern of CAT. Uh, if we look at the last uh, couple of years, there were 34 questions in all in the quantitative section. And if we further analyze these 34 questions and try to divide this in the level of difficulty, we can definitely say that around 12 to 15 questions were really easy to moderate as far as level of difficulty is concerned. Around another 12 to 15 can be considered as slightly moderate to tough and around 5 to 7 questions can be considered as really tough. Now, the question is, what do I look forward from a quantitative section? Am I looking at 99.99 percentile? If everybody starts comparing or everybody starts expecting 99.99 percentile, then it is very obvious that you, know, you, uh, you will find quantitative section to be tough. But that's not the case. When you start preparation, when you look at the months like you know, August, September, you are actually not looking at 99.99 percentile. You are looking at somewhere between 90 to 95 percentile or 95 to 97 percentile in, in these months. So to get these percentile range, it is definitely not difficult or not impossible to you know, uh, secure this percentile range in quantitative section. So what a student must do is to try and identify the right set of questions which he needs to attempt rather than picking up a question and getting it right. This is where most of the students tend to make a mistake and then, then that is the reason why they find quantitative ability slightly tougher. So when we look at uh, now the percentile uh, range of 80 to 85, first of all, if we, if we start you know, looking at somebody who is from a non-math background and is looking at a score of 80 to 85 percentile, a conservative uh, 12 to 15 attempt should be good enough in case he is able to maintain 100 percent accuracy. 12 to 15 attempt can be good enough to get the required percentile range. Gradually when you are moving forward, an attempt between somewhere between 18 to 20 can be considered as good enough and then eventually in the month of November uh, we can consider an attempt somewhere between 23 to 27 to be very good. Uh, assuming that you are looking at the required percentile and looking at the cutoff of top uh, no, IMs. And in order to get these number of attempts, a uh, student must get uh, the fundamental in place, especially the concepts of basic algebra, basic arithmetic, basic geometry. Because when you look at the questions uh, which hover around basic algebra and uh, no, uh, higher uh, arithmetic like con uh, concepts like time and work, time, speed and distance, these are the most frequently asked questions. And if your fundamentals are clear, uh, it, it is very much possible to get 12 to 15 attempts in the month of August itself. And getting 100% accuracy is the focus. So as I mentioned earlier, focus on selecting right questions and not selecting a question randomly and then making it right. The next uh, fear is that, that a lot of students or the perception that a lot of student has is that it is very calculative. The quantitative section is very calculative, but that is not the case. When you look at the standard questions, they are not at all calculative. And when you look at moderate to tough questions also, even though it involves some sort of calculation, we have an online calculator facility which you can comfortably avail. A lot of students are not into a uh, habit of using online calculator. So I would recommend that this is the right stage or right time when you should start practicing it uh, by using online calculator facility available on your uh, portals. Next question that bothers a lot of students is whether vocabulary is important uh, for them or not or for vocabulary, how vocabulary is important for cracking cat. Now when you look at the cat pattern first of all, there are no direct questions based on vocabulary. So a lot of people will feel that we can comfortably discount vocabulary. But vocabulary is something which becomes the foundation of your language skills. So it is not something that can be discounted. Though the preparation uh, agenda or the way in which you prepare for vocabulary can differ from uh, which type of stage you are into or what uh, month of preparation you are into or what is the all, uh, no, your uh, previous exposure to uh, no, basic vocabulary or reading skills. But vocabulary is something which cannot be ignored. When you look at the other exam patterns like uh, IFT, like ZAT, like SNAP, like NMAT, there may be some questions which can be directly based on the concepts of vocabulary. Uh, but when you look at CAT, 
at least in last couple of years we have not seen a direct question on vocabulary but when you look at reading comprehension when you look at para jumbles when you look at critical reasoning these are the areas when uh, one particular word if not interpreted in a right way can change the entire answer or can change the entire interpretation or your understanding of that particular uh, you know, passage given to you and in that case it can be really troublesome so a question which you could have got it correct you will end up marking it incorrectly just because of one particular word and hence vocabulary cannot be taken lightly second how to prepare for vocabulary now that also depends on which stage of preparation you are into so if you're looking at a uh, one and a half year long preparation then it makes sense to go through each and every word and you know help build a strong vocabulary foundation but if you are at the later stage of preparation if you're looking at cat in couple of months then it makes sense to focus on high frequency word list such word lists are easily available and you can identify such words uh, on the basis of its usage in different reading comprehensions or different verbal ability based questions so please ensure you prepare either you prepare your own list or go through the high frequency word list at any cost before writing cat next uh, question is supposed to be doing round uh, lately and been bothering a lot of students is about di a lot of uh, students believe and uh, it has been observed that di is really tough now is, is the question that bothers student is how will i tackle di or is is really really tough that i've been hearing about especially for the first timers a question like this can really bother them because when they look at xcat a 2003 pattern or 2006 pattern and when they when they hear about 2015 2016 i know there is a stark difference in the way di has been uh, you know presented in cat so let us try to understand first of all is it really tough quite quite difficult to answer this question in a black and white terms but we can say that di sets have been really sensible really good quality in last couple of years so the focus has shifted from a pure calculation based game to a patience based game where uh, you know you look at the set given you look at the information given is not complete in nature so it is not that you know you are just you have all the set of data with you and you just go all out in calculation and then see how you can derive the answer and try to make quick calculations here online calculator is also available so it is no more a game of calculation what it has converted it into is the game of patience so a set which has an incomplete set of information will require you to have maintain patience analyze the additional information given to you analyze each question try to add the information given in each question put it across in the uh, master question format and then evaluate and then try to find out the answer so definitely it requires more patience to handle a di questions that you are encountering these days but di is not the only portion in that particular section remember it is ar and di so you have if we go by the last two years pattern we had four questions four sets in ar uh, consisting of 16 question and four sets in di consisting of another 16 questions and out of 32 question we have heard that students getting 12 net correct assuming the uh, uh, no accuracy rate to be very really high 12 net correct is also scored more than 1995 percentile so it is not that uh, you are required to attempt 24 25 questions remember if the set or the section is really tough it is tough for almost everybody and if it is easy it is easy for everybody so what you need to identify is the right combination between ar and di sets so if you find that di sets are really tough or really lengthy you can pick up more of ar sets pick and choose the right combination of sets and then ensure that you reach the right number of attempts now right number of attempts can also be adjusted on the basis of level of difficulty what you have to ensure is that you are not wasting time in any set you'll have to learn the art of moving out of set quickly and ensure that your average time if, if we look at one hour is the total time allocated for this section and 32 minutes and if you're looking at a decent number of attempts we can consider 20 as a very decent attempt in di section so assuming that you are you have an average of around three minutes so if you are not able to crack a set or uh, not say questions in an average time of two two and a half minute it makes sense to move out so that you can at least spend three three and a half minute per question in the other sets the next set of faqs come from uh, the set of students who don't know what is the right quantity of tests to be practiced so the quantum of tests to be practiced so people keep asking this question how many sectional tests should 
uh, one right ideally or how many mock cats should one right ideally so when we look at trying to find the answer to this question we will have to understand three parameters first one what is the uh, you know preparation level that one student has reached already number two is what are the strengths and weaknesses of a candidate who is looking at cat, writing cat and third question is how much time duration does one have so when you look at first type of question so what is the already preparation level somebody has been preparing since one one and a half year and has been practicing so many questions in the chapter format or in the you know different you know, practice exercise format for him the numbers can be different uh, a student who is really weak in a particular section for him or her the numbers can be different student who is really good with one particular section or more than one particular section for him or her again the numbers can be different but when we try to analyze let us first understand why it is important for somebody to write sectional test irrespective of their preparation level first reason we have sectional time limit based exams one of course it is cat the other one is nmat so you will have to get yourself tuned into completing a particular section in the time frame given to you if you are not able to do that you will not be able to get the required percentile balance or the score balance and get an overall uh, score second is there are other exams where there are no sectional time limits or sectional cutoffs so for example snap there are no sectional time limits for example ift again no sectional time time limit or no sectional cutoffs but does that mean you can over spend time in any section can you afford to do that no you in order to get an overall good score you'll have to balance out score in each section only then you will be able to get the right overall score and get the required cutoff so and even in the exams like sat where there is a sectional cutoff at the time of offering a call so you, you know it is compulsory for everybody to make a right balance between different different section and hence writing section test is very important secondly writing section test also helps you in doing the swot analysis you need to understand what are your strengths within that particular area so if we talk about say verbal ability and reading comprehension uh, within reading comprehension there may be a particular type of questions or type of passages which may be your strength and which may be your weakness so when you come across something like this in the actual exam you should know that okay these are the questions which i can prioritize these are the question which i can not attempt similarly when you look at quant there is a clear you know list that you can prepare that okay these are the priority one chapter these are the priority two chapters these are the priority three chapters and you can plan your attack according to that and hence writing section test is very essential similarly writing mocks now again that question how many mocks should one write so writing mock is also important because first thing first you need to get into that environment of writing the formal exams of proper full length exams develop a patience for 3 hours look at cat it is 3 hours and you you will be reporting one and a half hour before your scheduled you know exam so you will need to have a patience of at least 3 and a half to 4 hours in, in uh, sitting uh, you know, without having any discussion so you'll have to build that concentration you'll have to build that patience you'll have to build that stamina and hence getting into writing these mocks is very important secondly in case of mocks it is not just a practice mocks help you in evolving your strategy you keep experimenting a lot right you know in in terms of you know building a strategy that you may start with a particular section in case of cat you cannot do that but in case of other exams you definitely have that liberty to start with a you know your se section of your choice so building that strategy within a particular section starting with some set of question quitting some section uh, some, some type of question is something which keeps evolving on the basis of the number of mocks that you write so though the actual quantity may not matter much but writing 20 sectional tests of each section and 20 mock cats before you reach cat is definitely essential for each and every student wishing you all the best